let's take a look at the levels adjustment you can access the levels adjustment by going into the adjustment panel and this histogram will represent the levels adjustment or you can access the levels adjustment by clicking on this option and you have the levels here you can also access the levels on going to the image menu adjustments and levels or you can use shortcut control l but using this would be a destructive option let's say once i just give some set random set i'll just give some random settings i give ok and you can see uh, this has destroyed my image completely i cannot go back or undo any level adjustment again so i'm going to undo and i'm going to choose this one or you can choose this one from the below here i have an option to go back and change the levels adjustment again here you need to see this first three points here one is this is a sample and image to set black point click on this and show the photoshop where exactly the black color is so i'm going to click here and the photo has changed using it with reference to the black point now next we have the gray point click here and show the photoshop where is where exactly is the gray color you can use this as a gray color or this it will alter the image as per the sample you give it to the photoshop so click and sample wherever you find a uh, good let's say this one and then give it the white color click here and this is the white tone the photoshop will alter the levels of the image with respect to these uh, black point gray point and white point let's say if you don't like the result you can also try this auto option here photoshop will analyze the image and give the levels adjustment accordingly click it did a pretty good job in this case but uh, it just doesn't work every time and you have to do things manually most of the time i'm going to give undo so this point here next we have to see that this point this white slider here these are the highlights i can bring in the highlights here like so not too much and these are the mid tones you can make it darker or brighter and these this black point is the shadows i can bring in the shadows as well this is something that a decent image would look like but uh, if you can you can also further refine this using particularly the color channels or you have some research options here if you want to explore these are darker increase contrast type one two and few others but it is mostly good advice to uh, do this custom make it custom and learn how this levels adjustment work rather than using the presets so that you understand more how this levels adjustment works this is a very powerful feature and can alter the image altogether in just few clicks so let's just explore the channels for now i'm going to go in red channel if i want to work particularly on red tones i can work from here and i can see if I increase this, it will introduce cyan tone to my image. The opposite of red is cyan. So it works this way. So I have given a sufficient amount of red in this. And I think I'm going to move on to the next one. Let's say green. The opposite of green is magenta. So if I increase the mid tones here, it will give me magenta color. If I bring it down, it will give me the green tones. I can work with the shadows as well. Highlights and shadows okay let's go to the blue tone now the opposite of blue is yellow so if i go here it will introduce yellow tone and if i move it here it will give me a blue tone let's move this a little bit inside and this here as you can see the image has significantly uh, changed there's way too much highlight in my image i'm going to go back give auto and dark you know shadows here just here yeah this was okay and pretty good looking here i can change the 
output levels and this will mostly be used in printing you can decrease the shadows using this option output levels increase it here and if you can, uh, you can also decrease the highlights clicking on this option you can give the image a little matte finish look like this using these options so it makes a whole lot of difference using this output levels as well i can use the mask as well uh, let's say i want these particular changes on the berries only so i can give invert to the mask it will give me a black tone here so black means uh, this portion will be invisible let's say i'm going to select the candle for now i'm going to select the candle there i selected the candle and i'm going to give all the backspace white color to the candle so this changes particularly happen only on the candle so if i go in here and make the changes it will change the candle only and nothing else i can go back to the mask and invert this and say do the same thing with the background as well i can change the background now as you can see the background has significantly changed revealing a lot of details here so that's our levels adjustment very powerful tool in photoshop